word has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in complete. God of the morning, at whose voice the cheerful sun makes haste to rise, and like a giant doth rejoice to run his journey through the skies. O oh, like the sun, may I fulfil the appointed duties of this day. With ready mind and active will, march on and keep my heavenly way. But I shall rove and lose the race, if God my son should disappear, and leave me in this world's wild maze to follow every wandering star. Lord, thy commands are clean and pure, enlightening our beclouded eyes, thy threatenings just, thy promise sure, the gospel makes the simple wise. Give me thy counsel for my guide, and then receive me to thy bliss. All my desires and hopes beside are faint and cold compared with this.
nothing Only to Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to undergo and how distressed I am until it is completed. Do you think that I came to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you but division. From now on there will be five in one family divided against each other. Three against two and two against three. They will be divided, father against son and son against father and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He said to the crowd, when you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, it's going to rain, and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say, it's going to be hot, and it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret this present time? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you would follow me, follow where life will lead. Do not look for me among the dead, for I am hidden in pain, risen in love. There is no 
God for the beauty of the earth, for the times when we hear your voice clearly in the greenness of things, in the singing of sap, the conversations of the leaves, the whisperings of shoot and stem, calling us back to creation to feel again your freshness running through all things. Forgive us that we have taken your creation for granted. You have given us the run of the land, the pick of the crop, but we have squandered your resources. We have distributed them unfairly, vandalised their beauty, violated their purity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for the multicoloured company of your church, for Protestant and Catholic and Orthodox, for all the colours and shades of tradition and opinion that make up the life of your people. Come through the closed doors of our churches and of our minds and our imaginations. Come alongside us as we walk, 
come into our meetings and our worship, into our brokenness and into the pain of our division. And as we journey in faith, travel with us, that we may go with confidence into your world as a new creation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for your rainbow world, with all its richness of colour and diversity, religion and race. Your longing is to reconcile all people inside your love. And yet we are divided from our neighbours. And so, lover of all, we bring to you now both the hungry and the overfed, both the mourners and the mockers, both the victims and the oppressors, both the peacemakers and the warmongers, both the homeless and the cosseted, both the hopelessly poor and the dirty rich. Break down the barriers that divide us. Let us be united in our common humanity. Unified be our hearts, common be our intentions, lasting be our peace, perfect be our unity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all the peoples of the world today and forevermore. Amen.